Tonight, our economy has one local man turning to science to beat high gas prices. He has built his very own electric car. News Channel 15's Janice Allen is here now with that story. And Janice, you even got to drive that car today. Yeah, Mark, I did. And it's just like any other car, except for one big difference. It needs to be charged instead of filled up. Now, this guy has been driving the car for only a few months, but he's already saving big. After last summer's skyrocketing gas prices, Manuel Shealy knew he had to do something. I told my son, this is not right. I'm going to build an electric car. And that's exactly what the retired plumber did, even though he had no background with cars. Read books, got online, made a few mistakes. He bought this 93 Eagle Summit for about $1,000 and spent another $10,000 converting it into an electric car. Our biggest problem was just finding the parts and tracking everything down. It looks like any other car until you look under the hood. This is a master switch. We turn it on and activates everything. It took about seven months to convert, but Manuel hasn't had a problem yet. I got 1,200 miles on, haven't spent a penny. The car runs on 120 volts and gets about 50 miles per charge, and it can even go up to 70 miles per hour out on the roads. The weird part's when you stop, it's just dead silence. Where you'd normally find the gas cap is where you'll find the plug to plug it in, and it can go into any household outlet. My charge overnight takes three to six hours. And with a fresh charge, Monwell drives the car 20 miles to his job in Fort Wayne each day, a commute that hardly goes unnoticed. I do get two reactions. If I tell them I'm driving an electric car or I build an electric car, their reaction is, yeah, right. Or it's, you know, they're excited about it. Manuel built the car with the help of his two sons, and he tells me that their next project will be, get this, an electric pickup truck.